Starting entrepreneurs often enter the business world with a lot of questions. How do I make this work? What do I need for my business to succeed? These are just some of the things that worry them. They often resort to different sources of information that can help them be equipped in starting this journey. However, they may be overwhelmed with a lot of information, leaving them still anxious and confused. In this book, the author emphasizes that the success of a business is not necessarily because of technical knowledge, but it is more attributed to one's avid desire for more knowledge. In order for a startup to prosper, the company should depend more on systems rather than on people because systems can be handed over to anyone given the right directions. Here are the top seven lessons from the book The E-Myth Revisited by Michael Gerber. Lesson one, prepare for growth. Business is not just about our goals. It's also about who we are and how we envision our future selves. The future of any business or company is as good as the people who run it. For example, if we're organized and the information we have about what's going on in the business is accurate, it will manifest in our business. If we want our business to thrive, we should also be willing to grow by educating ourselves on the ins and outs of our industry. If we grow personally and professionally, then our business will also have a strong foundation and structure enough to sustain its flight. Lesson two, motivate employees. Having employees who clearly understand the company's vision, values, and mission is truly an asset. Thus, any entrepreneur should strive to make the employees perform in a way aligned with the company's goals. To do this, we should express how much we care about everyone part of the company. We need to communicate to them that how they do their jobs is not just work, but can actually reflect who they really are. An entrepreneur should make sure that the employees understand the purpose and meaning of their work and should recognize that the company is a place where they can succeed and grow personally and professionally. Lesson three, play an active role in life. The difference between great people and everyone else is that the great ones actively create their lives. We have to take the initiative to improve ourselves and the situation, to have progress and reach our goals. Success does not just happen to people. We need to create it and extend all our effort to make it happen. We need to ask ourselves what kind of life we want to live in the future. Once that's clear, we can then find ways to actively make that dream a reality. Lesson four, anchor businesses on systems rather than people. Successful businesses are built on efficient systems and not individual employees. A system is composed of processes and workflows that can be duplicated in another business location whenever required. This is what turnkey business is all about, setting up the business so that the systems and processes are set up for a consistent and orderly way of doing business. This can be done by documenting all the steps and procedures in marketing, creating new products, sales, bookkeeping, and all other activities involved in the operation of the business. The goal is to ultimately build a business model that provides consistent value to the customers, employees, and investors. Lesson five, work on and in the business at the same time. At the start of the business, the founder or CEO is expected to have their eyes set firmly on the strategy and growth plan. Afterward, their attention is driven more towards how to provide the best service to its market. At this stage, one begins to work in the business more than working on it. This book reminds us that although we may become focused on expanding and satisfying our market, we should also not forget to continually work on the vision and the direction for the business. The entrepreneur should always allot some time to focus on the path of positive growth while serving the customers. Lesson six, get to know your customers. Knowing the demographics of our customers enables us to determine the psychographics or the reasons they buy. Understanding customer behavior is essential for any business endeavor. It leads to knowing what the customers want and the most effective way of making their product or service available for them. Knowing our market can also create the best customer experience that will put us ahead in the competition. Lesson seven, building a lasting brand for the business. Businesses may at times be too concerned with the commodity they're offering. Although this is true, entrepreneurs should remember that how these commodities are delivered is equally important. Our business should have its own unique brand. Establishing a brand requires a lot of things, a logo, a storefront style, customer service method, and packaging that communicates to the customers. This is essential because a business cannot exist without customers, such that businesses are focusing not only on how to win new customers, but also how to retain them as loyal customers. The goal here is to provide a satisfying customer experience that will ensure their loyalty to the product. In conclusion, this book sets the mind of readers to be ready for starting a business, running and becoming success-oriented. For a business to thrive and grow, the entrepreneur must balance the three roles of being an entrepreneur, manager, and technician. As an entrepreneur, one has to be innovative and creative. As a manager, one needs to be responsible in planning and monitoring. And lastly, as a technician, one has to know how to execute all these things. The entrepreneur's willingness to change by playing these three roles at the same time is an indicator of the business's success. Surely this book is tailor-made for entrepreneurs who are just starting their business so that they can increase their chances of surviving the beginning and vulnerable stage and ultimately achieve success.
Thank you for listening. If you like the book summary and you want to see more in this category, please like and subscribe so I can create more. You can also get a free copy of the entire audiobook by clicking the link in the description. Until next time.